All right, traders. Um, today I'm going to talk about the new AI component of Portfolio One Two Three. This is just a, a teaser video, uh, just a quick overview. I'm going to put in a longer video uh, in the comment section um, of this video. So let's just start with um, the result, the end result. Where can you use an AI factor? And you can use an AI factor in screens and also in ranking systems. So I'm just gonna show here the ranking system in this video. Uh, what I did is I took small micro cap focus. I nullified everything. The only thing I let in there was sentiment. And here's the AI factor. At the end of the process, I'm just going to show you, you will get an AI factor and that uh, you can put in here and you can basically weight it in the ranking system. Uh, let's just do that. Um, all right, let's make sure we have the right rank system I just showed. We pick it here. The buy and sell rule is pretty straightforward. Price over one, I excluded Chinese stocks and excluded financials, ranks over 92. And here is the sell rule. Let's just run it. And the results, again, I, I sat down um, three or four hours building that AI factor. And what I really like, first of all, I like the, uh, the, the capital curve very much. And what I also like is that this AI model or the model with a ranking system that has an AI factor in it picks other stocks in my traditional. So I don't have that stock in my tra traditional stuff. I, don't, I think I have ELMD, but IPV and stuff like that I don't have. SHIP I traded discretionary last week, but I don't have it in my models, right? So we all fight for liquidity in small cap, um, uh, you know, in, in, in the small cap space. And it's really interesting to have more systems and, and to diversify out. So that's, uh, that's a pretty uh, cool uh, result. So let's go to the AI factor, how I did it. Um, I used the three months total return and uh, there are other targets, six months relative return, earnings, whatever, you know, like, like 25 other targets you can use. So that's the target, the AI uh, component is basically um, optimizing on. I build an own small cap um, and micro cap universe here uh, i set the period i set the frequency every week max return is 999 percent i went that high because i don't want to cut off the right side of the distribution um and uh, scaling also rank there is a possibility to use a set score i like rank better again i want to use the whole distribution and uh, let's go further here um the data set is I trained from 2009 to 2024 first. That's the first step. And now let's slow down a little bit. Um, These features are basically, this is a bucket for your best factors, whatever. I, I read a lot of academic papers. I know which factors are working, what is driving stock prices. And I like, for example, I like the... Um, uh, the EPS growth, uh, everything around EPS I really like. I like free cash flow. I like a little bit of value in there. I like industry momentum in, in there. Um, share turnover should be a little bit lower, but then, you know, the share turnover the last uh, three months as well. Uh, surprise, stuff like, I mean, you have a lot of control. That's really unique with this AI component from Portfolio 1 through 3, I think has been released like, six to eight weeks ago, I like that control. You know, I like to put in stuff where I know it drives uh, performance. And um, so I, I, I can test basically my assumption in a very, very fast and effective way. All right, so uh, the second one is I loaded the, the data um, and now basically the validation comes into play. Again, there are different possibilities to test that. I use the rolling time zero CV um, and all this configuration basically makes sure that I test from here to here or the, you know, the machine test from here to here and then you have the holdout. Again, test, holdout, test, holdout, and so on, right? Um, then the second control point you have, um, it's, it's really not a black box. It's really, it gives you a lot of control 
and um, so um, you basically don't have black box but you you can control basically your back testing strategy within that component so you add basically ma the machine learning model you want and we have a lot of machine learning stuff in here predefined right so linear for example um, random forest and so on I took the uh, this one here, um, I, you know, I basically looked uh, up the, the message board from Portfolio123, the community from Portfolio123 and some other traders had a pretty, pretty stark results with that model. So I used that. All right. Okay. So let's go through the results here. Um, the first thing you want to see is that the red line is following the blue line here. Those are the actuals and that's the pr predicted. And basically uh, that's not really optimal here. I'm not really satisfied, but again, I just sat down two, three hours on, on Friday, built that model. So uh, the first result is pretty cool and still have to work a little bit more here. All right, um, let's go to the prediction. You then build a, a predictor. You retrain basically again the predictor and I use from 2009 to 2015 uh, because then I can test from 2015 on. And uh, yeah, that's it. You, you basically take the AI factor and put it to your, through your ranking system just here and here you go, right? And I really have to say I was really skeptical in the beginning, but the results are really interesting. I'm gonna basically look look at that stuff out of sample of course for a little bit but results are really really good and what i really like about the stuff again you have a lot of control what you're doing it's not a black box you can uh box you can you can really um control what you're doing control what you're testing and that's what i really like all right thank you very much and have a great day thank you